Gaston goes to school. Yeah, boy. Come back, Gaston. <laughs> Naughty Gaston. <laughs> uh, Holly and Ben, please keep Gaston under control. Sorry, Daddy. Hello, Strawberry. Hello, Holly. I've come to show you my new pet. <laughs> Ooh, come in. Hello, everyone. This is Fufu, my rainbow beetle. I say. She's very pretty. <laughs> Watch this. Fufu, sit. Ooh. Roll over. Ooh. Shake hands. Wow, that's amazing. I've been taking Fufu to pet school. Well, it's very impressive. Why can't Gaston do tricks like that? Gaston can do tricks. Really? Yes. We've been teaching him to fetch your slippers. Oh, I'd like to see that. Gaston, fetch Daddy's slippers. <laughs> <laughs> Good boy, Gaston. Drop the slippers, Gaston. <laughs> drop! <laughs> drop! Drop! <laughs> he ate my slippers. Sorry, Daddy. Bad, Gaston. <laughs> uh, sit, Gaston. Sit, I say. Uh, I think it's about time Gaston was trained. He can go to pet school with Fufu. Good idea, Strawberry. Lead the way. Here we are. This is pet school. Look, all our friends are here. Hello, this is my pet, Stanley the insect. Ruff, ruff. Hello, Hello, Stanley. Gaston! It's all right, Daddy. They're just saying hello. <laughs> this is my pet, Bobby B. <laughs> hello, Bobby B. This is my pet, Archie the ant. <laughs> Hello, Archie. Hello, Dog. Oh, no. It's King and Queen Marigold. Well, hello. How nice to see you. We always bring our pedigree greenfly to pet training. We've brought our ladybird. Well, you remember Lucinda, Gucci and Timmy? Timmy, say hello to the ladybird. <laughs> Timmy! Oh, no. Gaston, spit Timmy out. Sorry about that. Look, here comes Miss Jolly. Who's Miss Jolly? Whoa! <gasps> <gasps> Whoa, trigger! <laughs> Steady, boy! Morning, everybody! I'm Miss Jolly. Morning, Miss Jolly! Everyone on time. Good show. Well done, Archie. Nice posture, Stanley. <laughs> She's funny. Chin up, Bobby. That's better. Let's face the future like we mean it. Aha! A new pet. Wonderful. Does he have a name? He's called Gaston. And I'm Holly. I'm Ben. And I'm King Thistle. Hello, Gaston. Well. <laughs> Now, Mr. Thistle, why isn't Gaston wearing a lead? Uh... He never wears a lead. Nonsense! He has to wear a lead to be trained. Uh, he's not really trainable. Poppycock! All pets are trainable by Miss Jolly. Tell him to sit down. Ah, uh, sit, Gaston. Sit down, please. You see, it's impossible. Sit! Oh. oh. Just be firm. Let your pet know who's boss. Now, let's all show Gaston how we walk with a lead. Nice and upright. That's it. Do you want to have a go, Gaston? No, don't talk to Gaston like that. Who's the boss here? Well, I've always thought of Gaston as a friend. You're the boss, so show him that. Gaston, heel. Knees up, Gaston. Chin in the air. Don't slouch. Good boy, Gaston. What a good boy. Now you do it, Mr. Thistle. Ah, uh, heel? Not bad, but louder. Heel! Okay, to the obstacle course, everyone. 
Don't dilly dally! Now the seesaw! Very good! Through the tunnel! Excellent! Round the poles! And jump over the mud pit! No flying, please, Bobby. Come on, Gaston, jump over. Remember who's in charge. Gaston, jump! That's it. Now the seesaw. Good work. Straight through, please. Good boy, Gaston. Round the poles. And jump over the mud pit. Uh-oh. Gaston's in the mud. He's covered in it. Ha-ha! <laughs> no harm in a bit of mud, is there, Gaston? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Gaston is going to shake himself dry. <gasps> Sorry, Miss Jolly. <laughs> You're a mucky pup, aren't you, Gaston? But next time, you will jump over! Now. Who'd like to show us all a trick? Oh, oh, me first. My green flies can dance. Oh. Archie can lift really heavy things. Wow! Stanley can walk on his front legs. Ooh. Bobby B can do a somersault. <laughs> Whoa! Fufu can shake hands. Amazing! And what about Gaston? Uh, he does know how to fetch shoes. Excellent! But maybe it's not a good time to see it. Fiddlesticks! No time like the present. Gaston, fetch my boot! Oh, no! Gaston is going to eat Miss Jolly's boots. Drop! Hooray! Hooray! Wow! He didn't eat it. Gaston is now trained. Thank you, Miss Jolly. My pleasure. Just remember Miss Jolly's simple rule. Show them who's boss. Yes, Miss Jolly. Bye! Doodle Pip! Bye, Bye Miss Jolly! It seems a bit silly to keep Gaston on the lead. But, Daddy, you're meant to show Gaston who's boss. Oh, I'm sure it wouldn't do any harm. Just this once. There we go. <laughs> um, should we keep Gaston outside? Nanny doesn't like his muddy feet indoors. Oh, yes. Gaston, wait outside. <laughs> oh. Well, I think we can bend the rules just this once. Hello. How was training? It was amazing. Miss Jolly put Gaston on a lead. Yes, Gaston is completely trained. He does everything I say. Really? Yes, he can even fetch shoes properly now. Goodness, are you sure? Oh, yes. Watch this. Gaston, fetch the Queen's slippers, please. <laughs> Good boy, Gaston. Drop. <laughs> Drop. <laughs> Drop. <laughs> Please. <laughs> ah, he's eaten my slippers. What's gone wrong? He was trained a minute ago. But, Daddy, you did break Miss Jolly's rules. Yes, we were supposed to show Gaston who's boss. What do you mean? You shouldn't have let him off the lead. And you shouldn't have let him come in the castle. You're right. I should be much firmer with him. Gaston, sit. Sit. Oh, well, pet school isn't such a big deal anyway. The important thing is Gaston knows who's boss. Come on, Gaston. Off my throne. Ah, uh, yes. I'll just sit down here. Yes, I think Gaston does know who's the boss. Gaston's visit. 
Storm, are you coming out to play? <laughs> oh, Gaston sneezing. Mummy, Daddy, Gaston the ladybird's caught a cold. I'm not surprised. His cave is leaking. Look. Hmm. There's a hole here. Maybe if we move that pebble over it. Good day. Good day, wise old elf. Uh, what seems to be the problem? Gaston's cave is leaking. Hmm. Leaks can be tricky. What you need is a proper builder to fix it. But where can we find a builder? I'm a builder. Really? Oh, yes. Elves are very good at building. And I'm an elf. <laughs> In that case, I command you to fix Gaston's cave. Yes, Your Majesty. A wise decision. Hmm, interesting. There seems to be water dripping in. Yes, and there's a hole up here. <laughs> that hole won't be the cause of the leak. How do you know? With respect, some things are best left to proper builders. So how long will it take to fix the leak? Oh, it will take a very, very long time. And while the building work is going on, the ladybird won't be able to live here. But Gaston's got a cold. Where can he stay? Well, perhaps Gaston could stay with us. Yippee! Are you sure you know what you're doing, darling? Oh, oh of course I know what I'm doing. I'm king. <laughs> <laughs> Time. Oh, I'm afraid insects are not allowed inside the castle. It's all right, Nanny Plum. Daddy's invited Gaston to stay with us. Oh, very well then. Make yourself at home, Gaston. <laughs> Gaston, Gaston, ladybird. I hope he's going to learn to wipe his feet. Gaston isn't well, Nanny. <laughs> and he hasn't got anywhere to stay. I'm still not sure it's a good idea for him to stay with us. Don't worry, darling. Gaston will be no trouble at all. So, where is he going to sit? He can sit on this little chair. <coughs> Nanny Plum, you can speak, Ladybird. <coughs> What's he saying? Gaston says this chair is too little. <gasps> no! That's the Queen's chair. <laughs> Don't fuss, Nanny Plum. The Queen doesn't mind. Do you, darling? Gaston says this chair is too hard. <clears throat> Actually, Gaston, that's my chair. Gaston says this chair is just right. Goodness, it's like having Goldilocks to stay. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, Daddy. You can sit on this little chair. Yummy! Thanks, Nanny. Yes, this food is delicious. I suppose I'd better magic up some special ladybird food. By a ladybird's growl, food smelly and foul. Ooh, smelly welly! <laughs> Gaston loves smelly food. Uh, why isn't he eating it, then? Gaston says it's too cold. Uh, hello, Gaston. Daddy, I think he wants to try your food. Hmm. Have a little taste, if you like, Gaston. Gaston says it's just right. <laughs> Having Gaston visit us, can he stay with us forever and ever, Daddy? Uh, maybe not forever, but he can stay until his house is mended. Oh, goody! Whoa. 
and the weather in the little kingdom today will be bright and sunny everywhere. Look, King Thistle, Gaston's getting better. Well, wow. splendid. And the pixie pound has seen a drop oh, oh. to the golden um, dollar. Gaston says that this TV program is a bit boring. How about this one? <laughs> and this program's too noisy. Hmm. Oh, oh, oh. Aww. This program is just right. <laughs> Look, Daddy, Gaston's not sneezing anymore. So, uh, now Gaston's better, maybe he can go home. But, Daddy, Gaston can't go home until his home is mended. He might catch another cold and then he'll be sad. Yes, we wouldn't want Gaston to be sad. <laughs> Gaston says you are the nicest king in the whole world. Thank you, Gaston. Uh, maybe I'll go and see how the elves are getting on at your cage. Hello, wise old elf. How much longer is this going to take? As we builders say, there's no point in rushing things. Well, maybe a little rushing wouldn't do any harm. I'm afraid we have a lot of problems to deal with, Your Majesty. Uh, it's probably a silly idea, but have you tried moving that pebble over the hole? <laughs> You're right. That is a silly idea. Maybe it's still worth a try? With respect, Your Majesty, we each have our jobs to do. You're the king, and I'm the builder. Of course. It's been a long day. I think I'll go to bed early. Uh, Your Majesty, that might be a problem. What do you mean? Well, it's to do with Gaston. Yes? Nanny magicked this basket for Gaston to sleep in. Well done, Nanny. But the basket was too draughty. Hmm. Then he tried my bed, but that was too soft. Oh, dear. I don't like the sound of this. Don't worry, Daddy. Gaston's found a bed that he says is just right. Oh, but that's my bed. What's he saying now? Gaston says he is very tired and would like to go to sleep now. Good night, Gaston. Sleep tight. So, where are we going to sleep? Oh, that was the most uncomfortable night ever. Oh, how long is Gaston going to stay with us? I did say he could stay here until his cave was mended. And how long will that take? I don't know. Let's go and see how those elves are getting on. Hello. Have you fixed Gaston's cave yet? Gaston really misses his home, wise old elf. Good news. We've replaced the rotting wood, plastered the ceiling... And fixed the leak? No, not yet. But I'm sure in time we'll sort it out. Have you just tried moving this pebble? <sighs> Hooray! King Thistle's mended Gaston's cave. Well done, Daddy. Amazing work, Your Majesty. Have you ever thought of becoming a builder yourself? Uh, actually, no. I think I'll just stick to being king. Look, Gaston. Your cave's ready. You can go home now. <laughs> Gaston says... Thank you, and bye-bye. Bye-bye, Gaston. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Gaston. It was fun having you to stay. We'll be so sad to see you go. <coughs> Gaston says he doesn't want you to be sad, so he'll come and stay with you for a bit longer. It's OK. I won't be that sad. <coughs> Gaston insists, Your Majesty. Very well. Lovely. Hooray! Uncle Gaston.
Gaston. Hi, Gaston. I'll be right down. Oh, you're blue. Have you got a cold or something? Hi, Ben. Hi, Gaston. <gasps> What's happened to Gaston? <coughs> Nanny, you can speak, Ladybird. What's Gaston saying? <coughs> oh, he's saying he's not Gaston. He's Gaston's brother, Tony. <coughs> I didn't know Gaston had a brother. Me neither. <coughs> and Tony has come here with his family. This is Pam. <coughs> 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 And these are their children, Amber, Emerald and Keith. Ah, oh, look, they are so cute. <laughs> Hello, you lot. <laughs> They've come to visit Gaston, but they're lost. We'll take you to Gaston. Come on, this way. <laughs> Gaston, your brother Tony has come to visit. <laughs> oh, look! <laughs> they love their uncle Gaston. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. What? What is it? What are they saying? Well, they wrote Gaston a letter asking if he could look after their children for a day. <laughs> but he ate the letter. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Gaston likes eating letters. So Gaston had no idea he was supposed to be looking after the little ones. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll help Gaston look after them. Yes, it'll be fun. <laughs> Bye! Nanny Plum! Oh, that's the king. What does he want? Nanny Plum! I can't find my glasses. Have you tried looking on your head? Oh, yes. Now, where's my crown? Nanny! Oh, I'll have to go. Have fun, you two, and Uncle Gaston. <laughs> <laughs> Keith's riding on Gaston's back. <laughs> now the other two want to go. <laughs> oh, Gaston looks a bit tired. Have a little rest, Gaston. We'll play with the baby ladybirds for a bit. Let's play fetch. OK, Amber, fetch! <laughs> <laughs> Emerald wants to go too. And Keith. <laughs> They're very fast. Don't they ever get tired? <laughs> Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. Oh, look. Baby lazy birds. Aren't they adorable? <laughs> They're called Amber, Emerald and Keith. And Gaston's their uncle. <laughs> They're a bit hyper. We know. They need a nap. When my little sister doesn't have a nap, she gets overtired. What happens then? She cries. <laughs> See what I mean? They can have a sleep in Gaston's cave. There you are, baby ladybirds. Now you can have a little rest. They don't seem very tired. Come on, lie down. Oh, they're not doing it. How can we get them to sleep? Hmm, to make my little sister sleepy, my mum reads her a storybook. Gaston's got storybooks. But looks like he's eaten them all. I've got lots of storybooks back home. Dee -dee -da -dum. Ah, lovely clean washing. Gaston, no! I'm not having muddy footprints all over my washing today, thank you. Ah! Hi, Nanny. We've brought the baby ladybirds over. Yes, I see. Oh. Oh. 
tire today, eh, Gaston? At least that means you won't be jumping up on me and licking my face. <laughs> ah! Goodness me, baby ladybirds. Yes, Amber, yes. Emerald and Keith. Well, well. So Gaston is a girl ladybird after all. No, Gaston's a boy ladybird. He's their uncle. He's looking after them for the day. Are they house trained? Nearly. How oh, adorable. Little puppy ladybirds. Can they stay, Mummy? I'm sorry, Holly, but it's of not... Of course they can. Yay! I'm going to read a storybook to make the baby ladybirds sleepy. Oh, but where are the baby ladybirds? They've gone! Sounds like they're upstairs. <gasps> they're in Daisy and Poppy's room. I'll go and get them. No, Ben. Daisy and Poppy can be a bit dangerous. I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> baby birds, baby birds. Daisy, Poppy, they're not your dollies. They're baby ladybirds. Baby birds. Ruff, 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 ruff. Here they are. Um, how many baby ladybirds are there? Three. Hmm, there seem to be four now. And one of them's wearing a crown. Oh, no! That's Mummy. They've turned her into a baby ladybird. Baby bird, baby bird. <laughs> Daisy, Poppy, it's very naughty to turn your mother into a ladybird. Oof! Thank you, darling. <laughs> oh, dear. It's all right, King Thistle. They're just getting overtired. Right. Where are your storybooks, Holly? In my bedroom. <laughs> they like Holly's bed. They've got so much energy. I love this storybook. No, Gaston. It's not for eating. <laughs> rock a -bye baby on the treetops. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. When the bell breaks, the cradle will fall. And down will come baby, cradle and all. Down will come baby, cradle and all? That's not very nice. You're right. Um, what about this one? It's about ladybirds. Ladybird, ladybird, fly away home. Your house is on f... Oh, dear. This one's even more scary. How about this one? Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. Can't you make it more about ladybirds, Ben? OK. Once upon a time, there were three little ladybirds and they each built a little house. One was made of straw, one was made of sticks and one was made of bricks. What happened next? Well, one day, a big bad wolf came along to the straw house. And he huffed, and he puffed, and he... Does the story have a happy ending? Um, let's see. Uh, no. I mean, let's just say the three little piggies, I mean, ladybirds, lived happily ever after. So the wolf didn't eat any of them? Not even one? No, no, no. Of course not. It was all happy. The end. Ben, look. They're all asleep. Oh, yes. We did it! What time are their mummy and daddy coming to collect them? Oh, I've just thought. Their mummy and daddy won't know where we are. Oh. 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 What is it, Gaston? Oh. He's heard something. Oh. 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 Gaston, they found us. <laughs> oh, they've woken up already. How come they've got so much energy again? Mm, it might be something to do with them having a little sleep. Yes, my little sister's always got tons of energy after she's had a nap. Oh. <laughs> they do love their Uncle Gaston. And Uncle Gaston loves them too. <laughs> Gaston goes to the vet. Ben! <sighs> Morning, Dad. 
Haven't you even started packing yet? We're going on holiday today, remember? We're not leaving for ages, Mr Elf. Please try and relax. I'll try, Mrs Elf, but you know I find holidays difficult. Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. <coughs> I'm taking Gaston to the vet. Do you want to come along? Yes. No, no, no. You're not going anywhere, Ben. You've got to stay home and pack your holiday bag. Oh, please let me go, Dad. It's ages before we have to set off on holiday. And we'll be really quick. Gaston's just going to the vets for a checkup. OK, to the vets and straight back. No dawdling. Yes, Dad. See you later. Why is Gaston on a lead? He didn't really want to go to the vet. He's never been before. <coughs> Here we are, the vets. <coughs> Don't worry, Gaston. The vet is really nice. <laughs> Hi, Strawberry. We've come to see the vet. <laughs> That's my mum. She's the vet. Come in. <laughs> mum, Ben and Holly have brought Gaston for his <laughs> checkup. <laughs> Hello, Gaston. There is nothing to worry about. <laughs> Prop Gaston up on my table, please. What a good ladybird. Now, let's have a look in your mouth. Mmm, nice healthy teeth. Wow, you're really good with animals. Well, I am a vet. She's my mum. Let's check your eyes. <laughs> His eyes look really big. Nearly done now. We'll just take your temperature. <coughs> Temperature's fine. All is good, good, good. Gaston, you're a fit and healthy ladybird. Here's a sticker for a very brave boy. Bye, Gaston. I shouldn't need to see you again for quite a while. Well done, brave boy. <laughs> What's taking Ben so long? Mr Elf, we don't need to leave for ages. Relax. We're back! And not a moment too soon! We've got really good news. Gaston is fit and healthy. And the vet gave him a sticker for being a very brave boy. Lovely. Now, Ben, start packing. We're going on holiday, remember? Uh, Dad, I just had a very good idea. Yes? Gaston can come with us on holiday. Oh, yes! That's a super idea! No, this is a family holiday. Gaston is family. Um, where we're going, I don't think they allow pets. Yes, they do. Well, Gaston's not coming, and that's final. Aww! Now, for the one millionth time, Ben, please start packing your holiday bag. Yes, Dad. Come on, Ben. I'll help you pack. Fairies are good at packing holiday bags, and I'm a fairy. I'll help too. <laughs> <laughs> right, what am I going to pack? Hmm, probably simplest, just to pack everything. How about this ball? <laughs> you want to play, don't you, Gaston? <laughs> Catch! Well done! Gaston's great at catching! Here, boy! Catch! <laughs> Gaston! Are you alright? He's had his feeler! We'll have to take him back to the vet! Ben, have you packed your holiday bag? Yes, Dad! Good! So now there's nothing to stop us setting off. We can leave as soon as we get back from the vets. Back from the vets? Uh, but, but, but... Uh... Look after that leg. And that leg. And that leg. And that leg. And that leg. And... Mum, Gaston's hurt himself! Oh, dear! You'd better bring him straight in. I didn't expect to see you back so soon, Gaston. It's a bit sore, isn't it? I'll bandage it for you. And I'll sprinkle on a little fairy dust, just to make it heal quickly. There. Gaston scratching it. No, Gaston, you mustn't scratch it or it won't get better. 
I'll just pop on this plastic collar. <laughs> now he can't scratch it. <laughs> Sorry, Gaston. Here's another sticker for being so brave. <laughs> Be careful now. I don't want to see you back here again. <laughs> Mrs Elf, have you got the holiday tickets? Yes, here they are. Good. Throw them down to me. Oh, I'm not sure that's such a good idea, Mr Elf. You might not catch them. <laughs> I'll catch them. OK, if you're sure. You see, elves are great at catching and I'm an elf. <laughs> 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 Why has Gaston got that big collar on? Don't laugh, Dad. You'll upset Gaston. Sorry, Gaston. Here are the car keys. Shall I bring them down? <laughs> Just throw them to me, Mrs Elf. If you're sure. <laughs> Gaston caught the keys. Gaston's great at catching, even with that collar on. Yes. Uh, well done, Gaston. Give me the car keys back now. <laughs> oh, he's swallowed the keys. The keys are in Gaston's tummy. <gasps> Stop that, Mr L. But he's swallowed the car keys. We have to get them back. Holly, have you got your wand with you? Yes, Mr L. Good. Use magic to turn Gaston inside out. <gasps> what? I'm not sure that's a very good idea. We'll have to take Gaston back to the vet. She can get the keys out. Come on, then. Quick! Hello, Gaston. I didn't expect to see you again so soon. <laughs> What's the matter? He swallowed my car keys. Now, Gaston, let's have a look at you. Hmm... I see. Good, good. I have some very good news. Yes? Gaston's feeler is better. Eh? I can take Gaston's collar off. <laughs> Hooray! And here's a sticker for being a brave boy again. Wow, wow. Uh, that's all really lovely and great and everything, but how do I get my car keys back? Ah, uh, that. OK, I'll see if I can find them. Let's take a look in the front end. Hmm, nothing here. Now the back end. Nothing here either. Now for the middle. I'll use the X-ray. Hold still. There they are. The keys. So how do we get them out? We let nature take its course. Let nature take its course? What does that mean? I think she means wait for him to poo it out. That's right. We all just have to follow him around for a bit. <laughs> Aha! Looks like Gaston might be about to, um, go. How disgusting. But at least we'll be getting the keys back. Oh, he only did a wee. Ah, the little darling. We just have to wait for him to go in his own time. In his own time? But we don't have any more time. We're going to be late for the holiday. Did you get the keys? Um, we have to wait for nature to take its course. What does that mean? It means we have to wait for Gaston to... <coughs> <coughs> Gaston's coughing. What's wrong with him now? <coughs> the keys! Mr Elf, you're a very lucky man. Yes. Well, Gaston, you certainly deserve another Brave Boy sticker. <coughs> <laughs> Soon, Gaston will have more stickers than spots. Gaston's been through a lot. He could do with somewhere warm and nice for a good rest. He can come on holiday with us. That would be perfect. I'm sorry, but I did say Gaston couldn't come. But that was before he'd been sick. Uh, he probably needs a pet's passport. I can give him one of those. It's settled then. Gaston can come on holiday with us. <laughs> Yay! Yay. Have a lovely holiday, Ben. Keep Gaston warm. Have you got food for him? And a cushion? Yes. Bye, Gaston. And remember, I don't want to see you again for a long, long time. <laughs> Gaston is lost. <laughs> Gaston, are you in? 
Do you want to play? <laughs> Here, Gaston, fetch the stick. <laughs> Gaston's taking a while. Yes. Where is he? Princess Holly! Home time! Oh, that's Nanny Plum. Ben! <coughs> Home time! And that's my mum. Bye, everyone. See you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Let's play with Gaston. Yes. yes. Gaston? It's empty. Where is Gaston? 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 Good morning, children. Has anyone seen Gaston today? No. Has anyone seen Gaston? No. Has anyone seen the ladybug? No. Gaston is lost. Nanny. 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 Have you seen Gaston? Gaston? No. Come to think of it, I haven't seen him at all today. He usually comes in for his breakfast first thing in the morning. But he hasn't touched his food. Gaston is lost. Don't worry, Holly. We can find Gaston by looking in a crystal ball. Let's use this one. It's a snow globe. With a little Eiffel Tower inside. Yes, pretty, isn't it? There you go. Paris in the snow. It's almost like you're there. But how can a snow globe find Gaston? Ah, that's where we need a little magic. The snow is clearing. Ooh. That's Gaston's house. Well, there's Gaston. The crystal ball is showing us what Gaston did yesterday. And then we can work out where he is. Very clever, Nanny. Not just a pretty face, eh? Where's he going? That's me, feeding Gaston yesterday. Good morning, Gaston. Here's your breakfast. <laughs> Hungry boy. Where would you be without me to feed you? Now where's he going? He's at the fairy village. Morning, Gaston. That's my mum. Here's your breakfast. <laughs> He's had two breakfasts. I thought it was just me who fed him. Bye, Gaston. <coughs> He's off again. He's at the great elf tree. And that's the wise old elf. Ah, Gaston, I haven't forgotten you. Here's your breakfast. <coughs> I don't believe it. That's another breakfast. Oh, Gaston's off again. He can't eat any more breakfasts. Look, he's at the playgroup. And that's Mrs Fotheringill. Here's your porridge, Susan. Susan? Good girl, Susan. By my reckoning, that's four breakfasts. I think Gaston needs lots of food because he does lots of running about. <sighs> Oh, he's fallen asleep. I'm not surprised after all that eating. <laughs> Look, it's us. Yes, we played with Gaston yesterday. Gaston, are you in? <laughs> Do you want to play? <laughs> Here, Gaston, fetch the stick. We know this bit. Can you skip past it? OK, I'll fast forward. <laughs> Oh, Gaston has vanished. Let's watch that again. Stop! There he is. Forward a bit. Oh, he's disappeared. Back a bit. Forward. Gone. He jumps behind those clovers and disappears. So that's where he must be. Come on, we have to find him. Let's get the others to help. Wise, Wise old elf! elf. Wise, Wise old elf! elf. 
Gaston needs rescuing. You found him? Not exactly, but we know where he was before he disappeared. This is where Gaston was last seen. And then he vanished behind some clovers. Which clovers? There are lots here. We'll have to search all of them. Gaston? Gaston? Where are you, Gaston? This is crazy. How can anyone just disappear into thin air? Ah! Oh, where's my mum gone? Help! Help! Mum, where are you? Here! Uh, I can't see you. Are you invisible? No! Look down! Gosh, a hole in the ground. I can't see a thing. Wand, give me light. It's a huge cave. Ooh! It's full of sparkly diamonds and gems. Ah, looks like we've found a bit of the old dwarf mine. Yes, the little kingdom is riddled with dwarf tunnels. Those dwarfs certainly like to dig. Help! Help! Mum! Hello, everyone. I found Gaston. <laughs> Gaston! Come on, everyone. We've got a ladybird to rescue. Uh, what about me? Oh, yes. Sorry, Mum. I forgot about you. Charming. Let's climb down. It's a good thing I brought the elf rescue rope. Here we come. Whee! <laughs> Whee! Well, Gaston! <laughs> Gaston must be so hungry. I can hear voices. Someone's coming. Hide, everyone. In our dwarf mine, oh so old. We dig for diamonds, we dig for gold. <gasps> it's the dwarves. Dinner time. Good boy. <laughs> when you finish that, there's pudding. I don't believe it. Gaston's only been here a day and he's already got people feeding him. Right, lads. Back to work. Dig, dig, dig. Dig, dig, dig. Lucky the dwarves didn't spot us. They don't like strangers in their minds. Yes, that's why I took the precaution of hiding the elf rope. If the dwarves had seen the rope hanging from the top of the cave, they would have known someone was in here. I'm not called the wise one for nothing. Um, but if the rope's down here, how are we going to climb out? Don't worry. The wise one will have thought of that. He'll have a brilliant plan. Ah, oh, uh, it, this is a bit embarrassing. I, uh, uh, uh... So, the wise one pulled the rope down but forgot that we need to climb up it to get out. Yes, that's about it. No worries, we'll just fly out. But, but us elves can't fly. Oh, OK, I'll magic the rope to the top. Ooh. Come on, everyone. Let's go. Wise old elf, aren't you climbing up? I am not climbing up a magic rope. See yourself. You can live down there forever. OK, OK. I'll climb up the magic rope. Hello, everyone. Oh, hello, Mrs. Fotheringill. What are you doing here? I came as quick as I could when I heard Susan was in trouble. Susan? Who's Susan? Susan the Ladybug. <laughs> oh, there you are. <laughs> That's Gaston. <laughs> he won't answer if you call him Susan. Susan, I've brought you something to eat. <laughs> Poor Susan. Who would look after you if I didn't? Hmm? I've got a feeling Susan would manage just fine. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Gaston 
Gaston's birthday. Oh, oh. Come on, Gaston, wiggle your legs. <laughs> <laughs> Gaston loves wiggling his legs. <laughs> oh, has Gaston got one new spot today? I'm not sure. Do ladybirds get new spots? Ladybirds get a new spot for every birthday. Wow, Gaston's got lots of spots, so he must have had lots of birthdays. <laughs> and lots of birthday parties. <laughs> oh, have you never had a birthday party, Gaston? <laughs> That's really sad. Daddy, Mummy, it's not fair. Gaston's never had a birthday party. Well, I wish I'd never had a birthday party. Oh, darling, it's your birthday tomorrow and you'll enjoy it. No, I won't. This year I don't want a party. Oh, Daddy, you say that every year. Well, this year I mean it. I don't like my parties with the elf band singing about me getting older. You're lucky you're getting a party, Daddy. Gaston's never even had one. <sighs> then give my party to Gaston. I'm going to have a bath. Oh, same every year. So grumpy about his birthday, but he always enjoys it in the end. Come on, let's go and see how the elf band are getting on. Hello, wise old elf. We've come to hear the song you're doing for Daddy's birthday. Ah, yes. We've come up with a good one this year. I think King Thistle will be very pleased. King Thistle is old, 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 and today he's even older. King Thistle is old, 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 old. Very sweet. And I, Redbeard the Elf Pirate, will fire myself out of this cannon in the King's honour. But the King's birthday isn't until tomorrow. This is a dry run to see if it works. Light the fuse! Lighting the fuse. Whee! Hurrah! Where do you think he'll land? Who knows? Ah. Oh. I do like a nice, relaxing bath. It's good to get away from all that talk about birthdays. Happy birthday, Your Majesty! Ah! Get out of my bath! It's not my birthday! I know! This is a dry run! Now, see here! I don't want any birthday stuff! Ah, that's what you say every year! Look! I don't want a cake, I don't want a song, and I don't want a pirate in my bath! So, you really don't want a party? No! I don't want a party! Not this year, not next year, not any year! Never! No! Party! And that's when he started shouting. He was a tiny bit angry. So he really doesn't want a party? No. Oh, Dear, what will we do with the presents we wrapped? And the cakes I baked? And our new song? And me cannon! We've got a whole birthday party ready and no one to give it to. Um, Daddy did say Gaston could have his party. <coughs> Poor Gaston has never had a birthday party. <coughs> Would you like a birthday party, Gaston? <coughs> Then it's decided it will be Gaston's birthday party. <laughs> Hooray! We'll need a new song for Gaston from the Elf Band. Yes, Your Majesty. And I'll bake Gaston some cakes. And I'll fire myself out of me cannon in Gaston's honour. He'll appreciate it. Not like somebody whose name I won't mention. The king, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> this will be the best party ever. What do you think Gaston would like for his birthday present? A squeaky toy. Very good. <coughs> now to wrap it. Spotty wrapping paper. Brilliant. Hello. I've finished my bath. Uh-oh. What are you doing? Relax, darling. It's nothing to do with you. A likely story. It really isn't, so stop fussing. Uh, fine. Mmm. Can I smell cakes? 
I thought so. What's going on, Nanny? Are you baking cakes? Yes, I am. These cakes had better not be for me. <laughs> They're not. Now, Shoe, go on. I haven't got time to talk to you. I suppose it is nice that they want to give me a party so much. <laughs> what shall we do for Gaston's birthday card? Let's draw a picture of Gaston. Good idea. Hello, Holly. Hello, Daddy. We're making a birthday card. I don't suppose it's for me, is it? No. No, of course not. Ha! I don't think my face is that red. And I don't have black spots. I told you, Daddy. It's not for you. <laughs> oh, yes. So you did. Ben! Hello, Dad. Do you want to help deliver the party invitations? Yes, please. Off we go. <laughs> They're delivering invitations for my party. How sweet. Special delivery! Invitations to Gaston's birthday! Gaston's party is tomorrow at the Frog Pond! Are you all coming? Yes! yes. Of course we are! Where next? We mustn't forget Gaston! It is his party! <laughs> There you go, Gaston. An invitation to your very own birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Gaston loves eating letters. So, are you coming to your party, Gaston? Uh. I think that means yes. Oh, how are the preparations going for my party tomorrow? Your party? You're not having a party. Ho <laughs> ho! I know your little plan. What little plan? You told us not to plan anything. Ha <laughs> ha! That's right. I did. Good night then. Good night. <laughs> <sighs> oh, no one here. I expect they're all downstairs. <laughs> no birthday cards. Where is everybody? Of course! They're all secretly hiding outside, ready to shout, Happy Birthday, King Thistle! Oh, there's no one here. They must be having the party somewhere else. Ah, that sounds like a party. I'd better go and find out where it is. Not much of a party without me, the birthday boy. Everyone is here. And Gaston's brother Tony with Pam and the little ladybird Amber, <laughs> Emerald, <laughs> and Keith. <laughs> Happy birthday, Gaston. Here's your present <laughs> it's a squeaky toy. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. I'm sorry, do you have an invitation? I don't need one. I'm King Thistle. King Thistle, King Thistle. No, your name's not on here. What? But it's my party. No, it's not, mate. It's Gaston the Ladybird's party. What? Take it easy, fella. It's supposed to be a happy occasion. It's all right. He's with us. What's going on? Where's my birthday party? You said you didn't want a party. I know I said that, but what I really meant was I do want a party. Oh, Daddy. You are silly. Yes, I know. Oh, well, I'm sure Gaston won't mind sharing his party with you. <laughs> Gaston, be nice and share your present with King Thistle. <laughs> Gaston, that's not how to behave on your birthday. <laughs> For me? How kind. It's a squeaky toy. Yes, for you to chase. And now it's time for the birthday song. He's round and he's red with big black spots. How dare they? It's about Gaston, Daddy. He rolls on his back and he barks a lot. He's Gaston the ladybird. That was really fun. Maybe birthday parties aren't that bad. What's that noise? Happy birthday! Oh! Yay! Hooray! Happy birthday, Daddy. Oh, thank you, Holly. 